Okay, someone said they're going to release a whole new SDS-100 or an upgraded model or a revamped SDS-100. I don't know the truth to this. I didn't see any specs or anything exactly. What could they possibly do for it? First of all, the SDS-100 has a horrible battery. When I talk about horrible, I mean horrible. The battery is hideous on it. Um... I guess it all depends on how much you listen to over a, a, a period. How do I put it? I turned it on the other day. I left it on. After five hours, it went dead. So over, the, over that period of time, that's not enough. I say eight hours is pretty good, but five hours is too little. Then it died one day, five and a half, six. And then it was under five hours one day. So if you, can, if you get a lot of heavy traffic, it's going to die fast. But keep in mind, I don't keep the screen on. It's totally off. All that... All that's really running is the speaker and the radio itself. The screen is not on, so it's not losing as much power. I'm losing my train of thought now. I don't know what they're going to do to upgrade this radio. I really don't know if it's even possible. Um, there's nothing they can do to fight encryption. Uh, if they do try to fight encryption, that would be illegal and they won't be able to sell it in the radio. So um, my best guess is maybe they're going to improve the antenna on it or something or I don't know, make it easier to program. All I know is these radios are never going to drop in price. So you're going to ask people to drop $650 to $700 depending on if you buy a base, base scanner like the SDS-200 or the 100 which is a mobile mobile scanner. Um, they're going to ask you to dish out a lot of money. Um, and there's only like a select few places on the internet. Well actually there's, there's, a, there's a lot of places you can buy the SDS-100 and 200 but the only trustworthy places I know of is, um, I, I'm not a fan of Scanner Master because, um, I just think they're a little too expensive and you don't know what's going to happen. Battery is low now and you just, you don't know, um, I just don't like it because they're out of stock all the time. They never keep their stock running. Um, that's why I bought the SDS 200 from Bearcat Warehouse, but whatever. That's just that. That's the, my thoughts on the subject. I don't know what's going to happen, though. If they do revamp this product, only the ultra enthusiast is going to buy it. Because first of all, right now, people people are all bragging about Simulcast, how SDS-400 does a great, great job. I say it does a good job, too, but it's not as good as people say. They, a lot of times, it still cuts out on me. Cuts... It just cuts out on me altogether. I was listening to it today, and during the transmission, it went and just cut out on one of the transmissions. So it's not perfect. People act like if you buy the SDS-100, it's 10 times better than, say, the 436. And then people said it's ridiculous that the 436 is still five 600 bucks. Well... It's the only other radio you can listen to these systems with um, that um, it has an auto automatic feature to program, pretty much. Sentinel, is, it's free. There's another scanner that, that can do NXDN, P25, um, Pro Voice, um, who is the other one, DMR, but doesn't have a free program like Sentinel that comes with it. Or maybe it does, I don't know. But Sentinel is pretty easy to use, but that's also not an easy program to use either. If, when you first start to use it, it's not a very easy program. You've got you, you to get used to it. And that's the problem with scares. The biggest issue I see in the future is programming these things. You can. They, everyone says you can just have it programmed by someone. Yes, you can do that. It's a lot of money to add to the scanner too. But... After a year or two, sometimes the systems get changed around. Like a couple of years ago, I noticed there was a, a couple, a couple of places I couldn't listen to anymore. 
So I had to go into the database and reprogram everything. I was able to listen to it again. I was lucky though. Um, I knew how to use it a little better. But if you don't know what you're doing with the scanner, you'll have to send it back to Scanner Master. Master. And not only will you have to pay for the damn um, fee to have it um, programmed, but they'll probably ch charge you a labor fee just to install it too. So that's two fees. And um, yeah, that's that. And repair-wise, if you want to repair these scanners, you know how much money that costs and how long it takes. Sending it out to United and waiting weeks, if not months, to repair something and no guarantee of success. That's awful. But the scanner business is just not what it was. It's more of an ultra-enthusiast hobby now. I hate to say it, but, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be able to have a couple of digital scanners. Some people can't afford to get one, never mind two like I have. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.